A huge storm system will be coming to the United States over the next few days, and this will bring the return of some significant severe weather across parts of the Great Plains, the Midwest, and the Ohio Valley, where damaging winds, large hail, and tornadoes will all be a possibility. And on the other hand, we still have a big storm system impacting the southeast, where there will be plenty of rainfall and more severe weather, including tornadoes, over the next 48 hours. So in today's forecast, we are going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting impacting the United States over the next seven to 10 days. And we'll begin with what's happening across the country today. And we still have a large storm that is impacting the Southeast, which is bringing flooding rainfall. In addition to severe weather, we actually had one large tornado yesterday that impacted areas near Esto, Florida. It was actually a very strong tornado, lots of tornado damage in that area. No official rating as of now, but that happened right around lunchtime yesterday. And we will continue to watch for more severe weather and flooding over the next 48 hours as this non-tropical low pressure system continues to dump lots of rain and unfortunately this is impacting areas that were impacted by Hurricane Helene only about eight to ten months ago and so we are going to continue to see a lot of rainfall in those areas that have already been impacted and though the intensity of this storm system is nowhere near the level of Helene it is a very slow moving low pressure center which means that a lot of moisture will continue to come out of the Gulf which will increase the risk for flooding over the next 48 hours and then back over in the Northeast and across the Great Plains and the Midwest. Things are quiet for the time being, but that will change as we go later into this week and as well as next week as we are expecting a more active weather pattern to impact the United States. Now let's talk more about the weather pattern that will be impacting the United States over the next couple of weeks, and we are expecting a much more active weather pattern for the middle and end of May, and a lot of it has to do with our jet stream pattern. So as of right now, we have a low pressure center that is back over near the Gulf Coast. This is an upper level low that will continue to dump a lot of rain over the next couple of days across the southeast. Notice how our main jet stream is lifted very far off to the north, and we really only have one storm system that is associated with our jet stream right now, and that's going to bring a little bit more severe weather to Montana and Idaho both today and tomorrow, so be ready for some damaging winds and hail up there. But by the time we go into Tuesday and Wednesday, notice how our weather pattern starts to change a little bit. We have that trough that'll start to weaken and move more into the Ohio Valley mid-Atlantic, but we also have a large storm that is going to start to make its way over the Rockies, and and this means that we are going to get some mixing of cold and warm air, which should lead to a severe weather event on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It will begin in the central and northern plains on Wednesday. It's a bit more conditional. But by Thursday and Friday, we have the potential for significant severe weather back over in parts of the Midwest and the Ohio Valley. The Storm Prediction Center already has an area outlined for severe weather on Thursday in the Midwest. And then Friday could be a big problem back over in the Ohio Valley. But it's going to depend essentially on the storm coverage out of the storm system. System. But overall, the wind profiles are very favorable for tornadoes in this particular environment. Very strong westerly flow here in our jet stream. And in the low levels, we have a strong southwesterly flow, which means the atmosphere is going to be spinning. And there definitely could be a few tornadoes both Thursday and Friday across the Midwest and the Ohio Valley. Now, by Saturday and Sunday, the weather pattern is expected to stay active. We are expecting a lot of troughing back over near the Rockies all the way through the end of May, which means that we should see multiple big storm systems is impacting the United States, which obviously means there will be plenty of severe weather ahead here for the rest of May. I also want to point out as we go into this weekend, we actually could get more of a northwesterly flow in our jet stream. This could actually promote a mesoscale convective system setup, which means that we could see a few lines of thunderstorms that could also bring severe weather as we go into this weekend, even preluding any other big storm systems that move over the Rockies, which again, any storm systems that come out of the West are usually the ones that bring significant severe weather and the GFS model is showing multiple of those here over the next couple of weeks. So definitely be ready for a lot of severe weather to be returning to the United States. With all of that said, the Storm Prediction Center has already issued a slight risk of severe weather for parts of the Midwest in the Ohio Valley on Thursday, ahead of the potential for damaging winds, large hail, and a few tornadoes. And we are expecting severe weather to be a possibility essentially every single day over the next 10 to 14 days. The question really becomes what is going to be happening after Thursday of this week. I do think there could be some isolated severe weather on Friday back over in the Northeast. And then as we go into the weekend, that is where uncertainty starts to build. But I do think severe weather will make another return to areas in the Central and Southern Plains on Saturday before eventually we start to see severe weather once again shift towards areas like the Ohio Valley and Southeast sometime during the early to middle portion of next week. Now let's dive more into detail with the future radar for the next week or two, beginning with what's happening today, tomorrow, and 
and Tuesday. Notice how we're going to have plenty of rain falling back over in the Ohio Valley, Tennessee Valley, and the southeast. This will continue to lead to some flooding both today, tomorrow, and Tuesday. By Wednesday, that storm system will be getting a lot broader and a lot weaker as it moves into the northeast, but a little bit of rain is still possible. Severe weather should be done by Tuesday afternoon in most of these areas. By Wednesday and a Thursday, notice how we have a storm system forming right over the central and northern plains. This should lead to at least some isolated to scattered severe weather on Wednesday across parts of the Dakotas and Nebraska. I would expect isolated wind hail and a very low tornado risk to exist on Wednesday. By Thursday is when things, I think, become a lot more concerning. We are going to have a very strong low pressure system just to the north of Minnesota. And notice how we have a bunch of storms firing up here across areas like Chicago, back through Indiana, and even into Kentucky. And I do think a severe weather outbreak is a possibility on Thursday, with even strong tornadoes being a possibility in this environment. So if you're anywhere back over in the Midwest or even the Ohio Valley, Thursday is definitely a day that you want to be staying weather aware. And obviously, as we get closer, we will be going way more in detail with the severe weather events that are happening across the country. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. By the time we go into Friday, the storm system moves further to the east. We could continue to see a little bit of severe weather on Friday back over in the northeast. And then by Saturday and Sunday, notice how that storm system really gets a lot broader. I do think, though, Saturday and Sunday, we will continue to see severe weather, but in a different area. I think the Central Plains will be the next area to watch for on Saturday, where we could see some mesoscale features lead to at least some severe weather in that region. And then Sunday and Monday look to be a continuation of severe weather pretty much in the same exact areas. And even by the middle and end of next week, which again, this is about 10 days from now, things will definitely change. But by the middle and end of next week, it does appear as if it will continue to stay very active with multiple severe weather events on the horizon. And as we've alluded to throughout the forecast, there is a risk of severe weather today and tomorrow across the United States. We have a marginal risk of severe weather in place across the southeast. And we even have a slight risk of severe weather back over in Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. This is actually the 20th day in a row that we've had a slight risk of severe weather somewhere in the United States. The main concern for both areas will be isolated damaging winds and hail, but there is a low tornado risk throughout the morning and afternoon across Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, and Alabama. So make sure that you're staying weather aware and have multiple ways to receive alerts. And then in terms of our risk of severe weather tomorrow, it is a lower risk across the southeast where more damaging winds hail and perhaps an isolated tornado or two will be a possibility. Now, I would expect there to at least be a couple of tornadoes over the next 48 hours in the southeast, but I do want to point out that today's severe weather setup and as well as tomorrow's look to be quite messy, which means that we are going to be dealing with a lot of showers and thunderstorms out there. But unless a storm can actually stay discreet and away from all this messy convection, I think it's going to be hard for there to be much of a tornado potential. I would expect mainly during the morning and early afternoon to be our main time frames for a tornado risk. Wouldn't be surprised if we have a slightly more elevated tornado risk in the late afternoon and early evening in northeast Florida and eastern Georgia. So definitely make sure they are staying weather aware. By late this evening into the overnight hours, the storm activity does become a lot more messy, and it's also going to be much weaker by the overnight hours. I don't really expect any tornado threat overnight into Monday morning. By around late Monday morning and into the early afternoon, there will be some more storms that fire off. A few supercells will be out there, mainly around Savannah, Georgia, back up into South Carolina, where a couple of tornadoes will be a possibility during Monday afternoon. And then by late Monday evening, I think we're really winding down with our risk of severe weather. I wouldn't be surprised on Tuesday if we have an isolated severe storm or two in parts of North Carolina or Virginia, but generally speaking, the risk is very low. Flooding will not be as much of a concern over the next few days, but unfortunately, there are a lot of areas that are already saturated across the southeast that are going to be picking up an additional two to five inches of rainfall from Florida all the way back up into Maryland and Virginia, including many of the Appalachian Mountain regions that were impacted by Hurricane Helene that are still rebuilding. So make sure if you're in this area that you're still staying very vigilant. A lot of rain is on the way. If you're back over in the central and southern plains, things will be quiet, I think, for the next five to seven days, but we should ramp up with more severe weather by this upcoming weekend, if not sometime during the work week next week. And then back over in the northern plains and the upper Midwest, we are expecting a little bit more rainfall here over the next five to seven days, especially with the storm system that'll be happening Wednesday, Thursday, and as well as Friday. I also want to point out a big heat wave is coming to the United States. As we go into Wednesday, we are going to be experiencing the potential for record-breaking high temperatures across pretty much the entire Great Plains and into the Midwest, where temperatures could be as much as 10 to 30 degrees above average. So be ready for that. Some hazardous heat is a possibility, especially in areas like Texas and Oklahoma, where high temperatures could be in the 100s. A little bit of relief will be on the way on Friday across
across the northern plains in the Midwest. And this should last into the weekend and eventually into next week, where we will be dealing with a bit of a different weather pattern, where many storm systems are likely to move over the Rockies. Warm weather will build across the southern plains in the southeast, which should fuel the potential for severe weather as well, while below average temperatures are likely if you're back over in the northern plains, Midwest, and the Ohio Valley. And that should continue for at least a little period of time there during the early to mid portion of next week. And get ready for some steaming hot weather on Wednesday. We are talking about one of the warmest days that we've seen all year long across the United States with 80s and 90s across the Midwest on Wednesday for high temperatures and even back over in the southern plains, including Texas. There will be many areas into the 100s. We could even see some 110s just off to the west and southwest there of San Antonio and Austin. So get ready for this. It is going to be a very hot day on Wednesday. Record breaking high temperatures are very likely, especially if you are in Texas. And as we've alluded to all forecasts long, the weather is going to get very active over the next couple of weeks. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified with the latest video updates. And I would expect that live streams will be returning as we go into Thursday of this week with severe weather making a big return. We already have a risk of severe weather in place for Thursday, and we'll likely continue to see severe weather as we go into the weekend and as well as next week. So subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys all again in the next video, which will be tomorrow.